Good morning everyone. I know I need to make this video because some of you are noticing that I have deleted um, most of my videos. I meant to delete all of them, but for some reason uh, the ones from three months ago are still up. Um, I have a subscriber who has recently begun to heard to hear from the Lord and um, she shared something with me that the Lord told her and it kind of uh, well it caused me to doubt myself and whether I was hearing from the Lord or not and I guess I panicked and one of my biggest fears is being deceived and deceiving other people. So rather than wait to be confident that it was that I was doing the right thing, I deleted my videos. But for some reason the Lord did not allow me to delete all of them I thought I had and they either came back or I hadn't deleted all of them even though it said that there were no other videos left. Since I did that, the Lord has been confirming to me that I have been hearing him. I also received a prophetic word from a rabbi uh, that I used to be, uh, that I used to get counsel from, and he did not even realize that he was confirming to me for the Lord that he has been speaking to me. So I apologize for deleting my videos. Um, it's perilous times and the enemy is trying to attack all of us. It grieves me to see that there are people fighting. I don't, I do not belong to YouTube or uh, Facebook. I don't, you know, the Lord has been gracious to me. I have not been attacked other than by one sister in, in Christ who called me deceived, basically. But anyway, I went to the Lord this morning, um, and I do want you to know that His presence has just been on me so powerfully. I'm experiencing things that I have not experienced before. The other morning, His presence was... Um, upon me and I just laid on the floor for hours and I could feel I wish I could describe it it was so beautiful it was like I was being rained on from the inside and I don't know if it was water or if it was oil I just felt like this mist all throughout my body and I believe it was a cleansing and a, and a strengthening I'm not sure I can't explain it but it was beautiful and I, I never I didn't want to I didn't want it to stop and he continues to to just strengthen me and help me um, I want to share something um, that I believe he led me to this morning you know I'm a person who reasons everything through it's one of my downfalls I think about things and try to figure them out and it's a sin because it's almost like you're conjuring things and, and the Lord has been dealing with me about that and I have to go by faith we we must live by faith because a lot of the things that happen in the spirit do not make sense to our natural eyes and I want them to make sense and they don't make sense so the, this is just a small point but the Lord was showing it to me in 1st Kings chapter 17 he's talking about the widow at Zarephath and this is what the Lord said to Elijah. This was after Elijah had prophesied that there would be no more rain in, in the nation. Then the Lord said to Elijah, Go and live in the village of Zarephath near the city of Sidon. There is a widow there who will feed you. I have given her my instructions. So you would think that she would know what she was supposed to do. The Lord had given her his instructions. That's plain in, in black and white. So he went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the gates of the village, he saw a widow gathering sticks, and he asked her, Would you please bring me a cup of water? 
As she was going to get it, he called to her, Bring me a bite of bread, too. But she said, I swear by the Lord your God that I don't have a single piece of bread in the house, and I have only a handful of flour left in the jar, and a little cooking oil in the bottom of the jug. I was just gathering a few sticks to cook this last meal, and then my son and I will die. But Elijah said to her, Don't be afraid. Go ahead and cook that last meal, but bake me a little loaf of bread first. Afterward, there will still be enough food for you and your son. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. There will always be plenty of flour and oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain and the crops grow again. So she did as Elijah said, and she and Elijah and her son continued to eat from her supply of flour and oil for many days. For no matter how much they used, there was always enough left in the containers, just as the Lord had promised through Elijah. So, I pondered on this, and I wondered how the Lord could say that he had given her his instructions. When Elijah approached her, it didn't seem like she knew anything. But I believe as I continued to think about this, and ask the Lord about it, what the Lord had done was prepared her heart to obey Elijah. You know, in normal circumstances, if she had no food and Elijah had asked her to give him f food, her last food, she would have said no. But she didn't say no, she said yes. So that showed me that the Lord did indeed give her his instructions. You guys, things do not always, things are not as they appear. God is behind the scenes working and moving. And so his time frame, you know, we get it into our mind that it should look one way or the other way. And we hear these brothers and sisters who are sharing and expecting, you know, something to happen on this day or that day or this month or that month. And it doesn't come to pass. That is our understanding that is faulty. And so I have repented before the Lord for taking my videos down because he has confirmed to me over and over again that he has been speaking to me. You know, the rabbi told me the other day he didn't even realize what he was saying. He said, this is a time, this is a time of transformation for you. The Lord is transforming me, and he's transforming others. And it doesn't look like the way we think it should look. But he's working in the background. And he's accomplishing his will. So I'm sorry I deleted my videos. But don't look to me, you guys. Look, for the, look to the Lord. Seek the Lord for what he's saying to you right now. We can't follow man. We can't follow man. So may Maybe it's a good thing I deleted my videos. I know I don't have followers, and I don't want followers. I'm just sorry that I deleted the things the Lord gave me, because they are precious. I love you guys, and we're going to see each other soon. The wickedness is just increasing. It grieves me every day. I go before the Lord, and the wickedness on this earth is just... It's just horrible. So I love you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your kindness. Thank you that you never attacked me when I was sharing my heart. It's not easy to open yourselves up on YouTube, you know, for anybody to just um, attack you or, or, or doubt you or, or whatever. And I don't, you know, we each have to answer to God ourselves. So I hope this helps explain um, myself. Again, I'm sorry if I've disappointed anybody, but, you know, I'm just a person, and we really shouldn't be looking to other people anyway. So God bless you guys, and I really hope and pray that we'll see each other soon. Bye.